say what's your price uh -huh. Just to back it up You can hold my eyes uh -huh. Now let's say you are It's money I'll spend, pay me back when you shake it again The dawn, all the time, with all the shine You small time, I fall with mine Lens, mix, Bentley, it's all of mine My jazz bump out to the borderline UK hot with it, blue spots with it What is up Every my loves, welcome back to my channel If you're new here, welcome, welcome My name is Lizelle and today's video is of course going to be a tutorial on this look right here I just want to say, your girl did this entire look using all drugstore products So best believe I got you guys when it comes to creating bomb ass looks with affordable makeup products. You don't need the high end stuff to look good. This look is yet another full time appropriate makeup look, which is so ironic because I live in Australia where it is currently heating up. We are going into the warm weather down here in Australia, but I do have a lot of subscribers up in the Northern Hemisphere. So I'm coming through with the full makeup looks for you guys. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do, join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. And that being said, let's get into it. So as usual, I'm gonna start things off today by priming my face. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. For a drugstore primer, this is actually really good, you guys. So it is a little thicker in consistency than most primers, but it feels really nice and hydrating on the skin and it doesn't give you that silicone type of feeling. So I actually really like it. Obviously for foundation, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, regardless of whether it's drugstore or high end. This is my ride or die. Like I use this all the time. I'm sure you guys are sick of it. But yes, I'm gonna be using it once again today. So this is the Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. You guys know the drill. You've seen me use it countless times over and over again. But honestly, this is not only an amazing drugstore foundation, just out of all the foundations that I've tried, it is honestly one of my favorites. So I'm just applying that onto my face with the applicator and then blending it in with a real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Next up, I am of course going to color correct. So as usual, you guys would be totally familiar with this. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Peach Corrector. So I like to use this to color correct the darkness underneath my eyes. I just take a swipe to each eye and I'm using a Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush to blend it in. Next up, I'm gonna go in with concealer. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This one is in the shade Light Medium Beige. And just like the foundation, this concealer is amazing. Like it's super full coverage, really lightweight, doesn't crease up. Like it's just an amazing concealer and it has been said to be comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape concealers. I have not yet tested that theory, but if you guys would be interested in seeing like a full day's wear of the two, let a girl know and I can do that for you guys. But yeah, I'm just applying this to the areas that I want to conceal and highlight and blending in with the dampened sponge. So to set all that concealer in place, I'm gonna be going into the contour palette from Wet n Wild. This is the one in Dulce de Leche. And I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's kind of like a yellow toned highlighting shade, but it is matte, of course. And I'm just using the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush to pat that in all the areas that I just applied concealer to. So this is not only going to set it, but it's also going to help brighten it up even more. As for the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. All the face products are like pretty much Wet n Wild products, I'm sorry, but they are that good. So this one is in the shade Warm Beige, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that onto the rest of the areas that I have not yet set with the Sigma F30 Large Powder Brush. My base is looking so flawless right now, even though I am breaking out but I'm gonna quickly zoom you guys in so we can get started on the eyes alrighty so for the eyes of course I am going to prime the lids first so I'm going in with the NYX eyeshadow base this honestly is such an amazing eyeshadow base I kind of favor it over the MAC paint pot in soft ochre if you guys know that one which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do but this is pretty much the same thing like no joke so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my lids all over right up to the brows and I'm using the Zoeva 142 concealer buffer brush to do so then I'm just gonna go ahead and set that base in place with the same powder that I used to set my concealer just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth for the shadows so for this look today I am of course going to be using a drugstore eyeshadow palette 
palette. So we have here the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. This one is in Warm Neutrals. And as you can see, it comes with all these gorgeous shades to create the ultimate warm neutral look. So I'm firstly going to be taking this shade right here and I'm just using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. Now this is going to be my initial transitional crease shade. So I'm going to go ahead and run that back and forth through my crease all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner, blending it as I go and building it up to the intensity that I want it to be. So now that I've got that first shade blended nicely into the crease, I'm going to be going into this shade right here. As you can see, it's like a matte warm maroon reddish brown type of shade and I'm just using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. So what I'm going to do with this shade is essentially apply it in the same area as I did with that first shade but I am kind of keeping it a little more concentrated so that it helps to define the eye a little more and add some more depth and color to the look. So just running this once again back and forth through the crease all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner of my eyes and blending it slightly as I go. So next up for the lid, I'm going to go ahead and take this shade down here. It's kind of like a warm toned shimmery brown shade. And I'm just using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. What I'm going to do with this shade is pack this all over that blank area of my lids and blend it up into those crease shades. Next up for the outer corner of my eyes, I'm going to be going into the darkest matte brown shade in the palette, which is this one right down here in the bottom corner. And I'm just using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. So what I'm going to do with this shade is apply it to the outer corners of my eyes and drag it inwards towards that lid shade just to really help add some more depth to the look and define the eye a little more. So now that I have that color on the outer corner it's at this point that I'm just going back in with a clean blending brush and blending along this top edge just to make sure that everything is kind of like you know blended of course and just nice and seamless. So now for the bottom lash line, I'm going to go ahead and go back into that matte warm red shade right here and I'm using the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. I'm going to go ahead and lightly smoke this out along my bottom lash line. And then of course to help define that bottom lash line further, I'm going to go into the dark matte brown shade. I run that along there as well using the Sigma E30 Pencil Brush. But as usual, you guys know the drill, I'm keeping it much closer to the lashes to help to define that lash line even further. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight the inner corners and brow bones of my eyes. So I think I wanna take this shade up top, the really shimmery white almost shade, and I'm using the Real Techniques Accent Brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bones. Now, I was gonna give myself a winged liner for this look, but looking at it now, I kinda just wanna Keep it soft, simple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give my lashes a quick curl and a coat of mascara top and bottom. Today I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. So now it's time for the exciting part, which of course is false lashes. So I'm gonna be using these bad boys today. These are from Ilua from the Vegas Nade Collection. I've never actually used any Ilua lashes before, I'm pretty sure. But I recently picked up a bunch of different styles and I'm really excited to try them. So today I'm using this pair right here. This is in the style Shining Star. To me, they look very like simple yet glam, full yet natural. Like they're kind of like that amped up natural type of vibe, which is what I'm all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim those up and apply them. I'm just using the Revlon Eyelash Adhesive to glue those on today and yeah, just popping those on. So the eyes are now done and can I just say that I am obsessed with those lashes. I'm low-key mad that I did not get them sooner because I mean like, they're so pretty, I'm obsessed. But before I get a little too carried away, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. So back into the contouring palette from Wet n Wild. Of course, I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm using the Models Prefer Contour Brush. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face as I usually do. So starting with my jawline, then my cheekbones, and I'm using a different brush for my nose. You guys who watch me regularly, you know the drill, you know how I do. Just gonna go ahead and contour the face. Alrighty, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up my face a little. I'll be using the Physicians, blah, 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 that's so hard to say. Physicians Formula. There we go, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. That is such a mouthful, you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this to bronze up the face. So I'm using the 
Sigma F40 large angled contour brush. Just gonna go ahead and apply that to the usual areas. So over my cheeks and around the perimeters of my face, mainly concentrating on my hairline. For blush today, I'm gonna be using this one from Essence Cosmetics in the shade Kissable. It's pretty much just a really rosy warm toned blush with a shimmery gold sheen throughout. I'm just using the Sigma F40 large angled contour brush to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and dragging it backwards towards my hairline. Essence products, like don't sleep on them guys, they are super inexpensive, but they actually have some pretty decent products. So this blush is actually really, really pigmented. So again, be very light handed with it. Next up is of course highlighter and you guys already know the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Precious Petals is one of my faves. For a drugstore highlighter, this thing right here is just amazing. Like if you have not yet tried it, do yourself a favor and go and pick it up. It's super inexpensive. The quality of this is that of a high end highlighter. Like I've honestly, oh, I can't even like put into words how I feel about it, but it's amazing. So as you can see, I'm just applying that with the Real Techniques setting brush, just applying it pretty much all over my face, all the areas that I like to highlight. And as you can see, it is beaming. Like don't be fooled by the price. Honestly, it's such a good highlighter. That highlight is just straight beaming. Like I have no other way to describe it. It's so intense, I love it. Now we're up to the lip color. So again, I'm using another Wet n Wild product. I swear this is almost like a one brand tutorial at this point, but this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick in Give Me Mocha. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this straight to the lips. I won't be going in with any type of lip liner today because it's actually pretty easy to apply this liquid lipstick straight to the lips with the applicator that it comes with. So this is the finished look, you guys. I really do hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, you know what you gotta do. Hit the little red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As usual, I will list everything that I used in the video down in the description box below where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys wanna add me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, yes, all that good stuff is down below. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I'll talk to you guys in the comments down below and I'll see you all in my next video. Stay glowy.